Hi everyone, in the next video we are going to review performance of Android Studio on Dell Precision 5510 with i7 6th uh, generation processor uh, with uh, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and here are uh, the concrete uh, parameters of it so i7 6820hq processor 2.7 3.6 gigahertz uh, it has 32 gigabytes of ram i i missed that information one terabyte ssd and here are the build speed uh, running a gradle where uh, android uh, assemble debug command uh, of uh, Firefox um, browser for Android Studio uh, and this project is quite large 6, gigab uh, six gigabytes uh, in total and it's quite uh, good results because my working machine current desktop working machine uh, builds this project with uh, f uh, with these results during uh, 7 and 5 minutes and this 6th generation precision builds it with 4 minutes and 2 and 3 minutes and you can see uh, the processor's uh, difference like i5 7th gen uh, uh, generation and i7 6th generation so uh, also, this uh, this laptop has 4K display, and I will show you uh, the difference between uh, selecting different screen resolutions on this uh, of this uh, uh, monitor. And uh, what I can tell you, the screen is uh, very beautiful. Uh, I like it, but. Uh, working with 4k 100 uh, percent scale is uh, uh, very inconvenient because uh, it uh, the, the old text sizes are very well very, very small uh, and it's comfortable to work on it uh, using 4k with 275 percent of scale or 250 uh, so um, I don't know is, is, is this uh, uh, comfortable and is it reasonable, reasonable to buy uh, 4K displays for 15 and 6 uh, inch um, uh, laptop but uh, the result uh, you will see uh, also you can run the same test uh, as I do uh, on your own machine and send me results uh, and I will add them to the public uh, public XML file so uh, the other people can see and compare and choose what uh, laptop they can buy uh, and uh, make the best the best purchase so here i describe it step by step in detailed manner uh, what you can run what you need to download it's very easy uh, to run this project uh, to test everything you need uh, like around one hour not more mm, and uh, i will be uh, I will be very thankful to you if you uh, subscribe to my channel, press like button, leave some comment or maybe you have some questions about uh, the tests and uh, maybe you can ask me something to do, uh, another test video. So feel free to contact me and uh, walk, watch next. So here you can see the parameters of this laptop. And I was also running AIDA stress test on this machine 
and uh, here is also almost no throttling during 10 to 15 minutes and clock speed is uh, around 27 3 uh, 3 and uh, 3 and 3 mm, gigahertz uh, and uh, the ram uh, on this machine is 32 gigabytes and uh, uh, it was used only around 7 to 9 gigabytes so a lot of ram was available and it's just great So here you can see that it was built in 4 minutes and 16 seconds. It's first, uh, first built as I remember. And uh, the CPU temperature was around uh, 65 to 85 uh, degrees, uh, degrees Celsius. And it also was quite good. So now you can see uh, what uh, video card is installed and the processors
So next build was in 2 minutes and 57 seconds. Also quite fast. It's two times faster than my desktop PC. And the set build time in 3 minutes 2 seconds. Also good. Now you can see how emulat emulator is running. Quite fast. Okay, not that fast as on 10th generation uh, of CPU, <laughs> like uh, Core i7-10650H, uh, uh, but still quite decent. Usually you run once emulator and it is just staying in background uh, during all day while development. Now you can see that I am testing th three tabs with 4K videos. Mm, what I can tell you that uh, video, some videos were a little bit stuttering, so it's like too much uh, for this machine to have three tabs opened. Uh, it's okay with one tab with 4K video, but three tabs is too much for this one. For previous MSI GF65, uh, it was handling four tabs or, 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 or more with uh, 4K videos and it was amazingly fast and everything was running smoothly. Uh, that has ninth generation uh, of CPU, 9750H.
So now, now I'm, I'm going to show you some different resolutions uh, on this laptop so you can see how uh, the Android Studio project will look like uh, under different screen resolutions and how much tabs are opened and uh, in, will it be comfortable for you or no uh, and so on and so on. Um, what I can tell you is that uh, if you have like 4K uh, screen with uh, on a 15 and 6 inches um, laptop it's uh, comfortable to work with it um, with uh, uh, 250 225 percent uh, of scale um, it is normal for uh, your eyes at least for, for my uh, for my eyes it was quite normal with 100 percent as you see everything war uh, everything looks very tiny and uh, it's absolutely inconvenient so we need the code only until until this uh, uh, gray vertical line and uh, it, it doesn't scales properly so too much of free empty space uh, on the right side and as you know it's uh, absolutely um, unneeded so if you like that please subscribe leave a comment and wait for next videos